I don't know if anybody remembers where we were. Does anybody remember where we were? I'm kind of licking our boots with the gang. And yeah. figuring out where we're going. Whether we're going to these tombs. But we saw the beam of light. Yeah, so I'm a giant elk. We also did the tour for Kai. The tour? For the yeah. murdering. Gave him and the, Mars got taken. The tower tour. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So kidnapping, sabotage. Other mm-hmm. other important details. Uh, it, just in case you forgot, one of the Griffins, one of Zephyros's Griffins, is dead. The, one of them is missing. Uh, the other two are both wounded. Um. Uh, Nisiri is here, but um, uh, Adelar is Adelar is missing. Yes, and or did an Alabaster take him? Us, yeah, us but, but, yeah, but yeah, but you haven't seen him, so you know. Yeah. So, anyways, you, the last thing that happened, I believe, was the uh, that Riken did his little interrogation with the head, got his questions answered. Uh, if you're if you need to know what happened there, the video is still up, and I definitely uploaded it to YouTube already, so it should be available there by now, I would think. Yeah, it's been up for a few hours now. So. You can always go back and listen to that again if you need a reminder as to what occurred there. Although I think you left Riken by himself, so technically he's the only one that knows what was said. Me and, and me, I oh. alone. Oh, that's right. Well, you, were, and, you were there too. And I was nearby, oh. so I heard. Okay. I didn't hear nothing. And... We'll... I don't think you guys rested after that, so we're starting off in the afternoon right there. Yeah, we, we did a short rest, but, yeah. All right. So, our plan was everybody, when we left, I turned into a giant elk. Everybody else hops on, and we just go. Yeah, we're heading to the tomb. Right. Tomb of Champions. Oh, that's right. Two of the fallen champions. Oh, got to turn that Hey, on. listen. Dang. What was that? <laughs> it's my phone <laughs> notification. I thought that was a cat. I had it on because we're going to do an escape room tomorrow. It's a oh, fairy. Cool. Those are What's fun. Your, uh, are you like going it. to the one in Tri Cities or Portland? Uh, Tri Cities. We're going to go oh, okay. do the serial killer one. Oh, nice. Okay. The, I did that with the I did that with my daughter. My daughter, yeah, she loved it. But we didn't escape. You guys <laughs> you did the, away you did the serial the killer one. Uh, I I don't remember. No, it was like the murder mystery one. I can't remember. Um, I a, but but we, we you know there's a time limit, so yeah. we didn't make it in time. We died. I think the coolest one I've ever done. Not, I know we're getting off topic here but the sorry coolest, yeah the sorry. coolest one i've ever done was one in seattle that actually had like this suits of armor that you had to bounce light off of to hit a target it was like a light maze oh, puzzle that's cool oh yeah okay anyway sorry yeah off track yeah you know. um yeah but the but escape rooms are cool yes <laughs> okay um, heading to the tomb. Alright, that sounds like that, so- that start of that song, uh, heading to the forest. Okay, anyway. so let me go ahead and move you guys over to the Tomb of the Fallen Champions. Just for S and G's. So you can see and remember. And then, just to be sure, Riken, you did want to stay behind, right? I just want to make sure like we're... Yeah, that's where we left on the phone. I said I was going to stay behind. Okay.
<laughs> okay. So as you guys approach the, uh, it doesn't take you very long to get out of the weed patch, uh, and then you, it's free riding across the plains from there. Um, so you arrive at the army that is currently guarding the outside of the uh, of the tombs, and uh, Anthar Froom uh, meets you uh, at the border. He looks a little battle weary, but so do you. So. Right, I'll slow down so others can talk to him. The uh, army there is is blocking uh, any kind of approach to the tombs, so you'd have to go through them. Uh, can you see if we can head to the tombs or speak to someone. Do, are the armies? Do they notice us? Anthar Froom walks out to meet you just away from the, okay. the army like I said Sorry. as he walks he just walks out towards you as you approach he's got his two paladins that were with him before are, are with him still uh, how how goes it what's happened we saw some light is everything okay I'll yell out. Oh, uh, yeah. Better than could be expected, actually. Good. Good. Are the, are the champions okay? Alive? Have you seen them? No. Have you? Uh, Not no, yet. I mean, that'd be a little peculiar. They're dead. Oh, of, of course, of course, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, we can see they put those slabs up in front of the tombs, right? Uh, so you not you're not at the tombs. So, itself, okay, yeah, I was gonna so say you can't see anything. Okay, we can't actually see them. This is no, no oh. just just me getting ready. Good, good, good. And I don't feel like hiding the screen, so. <laughs> Um, we were wondering if we could get past and go check on the tombs real quick. Would that be okay? I suppose. I, sh I don't think there's any danger. Did any of the enemy make it through? I'm not sure. Uh, it's pretty fierce fighting. We were almost overrun, but they turned tail and fled like uh, the demon scum they are. Yeah, stupid demon scum. All right, uh, thank you. And if you could just, you know, keep a lookout for a little bit longer. Oh, we'll be here for a while. We gotta make sure these tombs stay safe. Thank you, friend. And then I'll heel yeah. kick over elk. He uh, oh. yells back at the army, Let them pass! Let them pass! And then walks back over towards uh, where some tents are being erected. I'll head into I'll the tombs. Let's wave as we ride past them. Uh, you can tell that the army's um, kind of taken the, a little bit of the worse for wear. And um, there's a lot of wounded and a lot of people covered up by their capes, if you know what I mean. Napping. Got it. So. They're really tired. Gotta Taking the old nap. dirt nap. The extra That's long rest. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you oh. make your way through the the little chasm entrance it becomes a tunnel and then opens up into the, the tomb proper. And as you do so, you notice that the tombs are all sealed. And I don't mean that, that there are stone slabs in front of them, but it's just a rock wall. Like you had never been here before. 
Are well, the stars still above them? The stars are still above them. You can still see them. Do they have the inscriptions? You don't see any inscriptions. I'll uh, hop off the elk over and then start inspecting. See, like you just go up and uh, place my hand on all of the wall where the doors would be, you know, to see if it's all an illusion. Uh, which one are you get to go to first? Uh, let's start white. Walk up to the white one, place your hand against the wall. Yeah, feel solid. Alright. Anyone else want to try well, anything? The last thing I want to do is try to open one. And if they closed, that's good. Maybe send a message. You can send it to the angel or to the protect the veiled one. Well, I'm wondering what... Are you back in... Over form, or oh, you you hear that in your head? All right, I'll talk back. Well, what should we do now? What uh, what? By the time you made it should over here, because the tower was uh, a couple of miles off, because if you remember right, the tower took off and attempted to flee the the onslaught that was coming its way. So you made it a couple of miles away before it was downed. Uh, but it is starting to get dark. It, remember, it gets dark early in the winter, so. Why would they be sealed? And what were those lights about, I wonder? And if they're sealed, should we really unseal them, knowing what oh. they are? Send a message. Use your message that you can... Then what? people will talk to them in the heads. What, what are we going to just call her out here? Find out if everything's all right. Find out if... If anyone made if it through. If Dale got out or, or anybody got in. Is everyone alive? Is this Blood Fae so. still sleepy? Yeah. All right. And if, if things are okay now with everything being sealed up again. Oh... Pull out my copper wire and send a message to the angel Fay. Do you know where she is? Uh, I'm assuming in her tomb. So you point your finger towards her tomb and cast your spell. What are you going to say? Uh, hello, angel Fay. It's me, Eidolon. Uh, just wondering if everything's okay. We're outside the tomb. Uh, you can respond to this message. As you finish your spell and you wait, don't hear anything back. Don't hear anything back. Nothing, nothing happens. What if she's still... I don't know what's going on. I'll just yell out loud, or not yell, but kind of out loud say, Hello? Is there anybody out there? Right Someone here. that can hear me? Is there anyone there? A lonely gust, gusting wind blows over the top of the... Uh, open area you're in, but other than that, nothing. Maybe try the Black Star. That's where everybody was at when we last left. <laughs> That's the blood phase. Mm. Right, right. I'll try sending another message. in the direction of the Black Star. Repeating the same message? Yeah. Once again, no reply. I'll try all of them. Well, unless anyone else wants to... I'll do that while 
anyone else wants to try anything. It'll take a few minutes. So, if they're sealed, I'm kind of on board to just run. Like, we have some other things to do. And I do not want to risk opening one of these. I agree. And if no one's here battling, or there's no... I mean, there doesn't seem to be any doom. So... Maybe we're in the clear? And I put a thumbs up. How far apart are these doors? Are these uh, walls with the symbols above them? You mean the space between the doors? Yeah, how, how far apart are they? Uh, it varies. Okay. You know, anywhere Greater from, than 30 feet? Anywhere from 10, 20 feet to... Um, maybe as much as 30 at the furthest apart ones. The, I mean, it's not like I tried to make them accurate on here. No, I, I didn't mind that. I just was curious because I wanted to do something, but we don't really need to if everybody's in agreement not to uh, pursue the doors. Yeah, we, yeah we've been in these, door, these tombs before. What, uh, what happened here? Well, the, these are the tombs of the fallen champions and so each oh. one has a different type of fey a different type of entity or god or some sort of people you don't want to deal with basically oh uh, well the one true yeah. god is gone so but anyway well kai right. you've been here before. <laughs> yeah you, you, we, we've been here. This was like the beginning of our campaign. The very, very beginning. Of oh, the this is the same tomb area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought this but was now. A, now we came into the other. We went to the other tombs. We only went to one of them. Technically, Thomas, you're the one who started this whole faith thing by opening <laughs> <Yeah>. up the face door. <laughs> <laughs> I so, I totally like. I'm sorry. It's been like six months. Uh, uh, in year game, out of game. <laughs> yeah. um, it's been a so long ass time. It, it it is it is coming back to me, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't recall wanting to mess with these uh, after we got out of the first one. But yeah, well, we kind of crossed paths them. with them, <laughs> and then we started a sibling rivalry kind of feud, and oh. but now it seems like everything's cool. So maybe we should slowly back away. Yeah, if I move the stone from in front of the red star one that you see it's covered in spider webs, because remember all the giant spiders that were there? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. All right. So, like I said, it's getting dark. Should we go back to the tower and... Yeah. Maybe see if we can't try to get the tower up and running. Yeah, see what we can do back at the tower. Because I don't think we can do much here. Yeah, and, is it, and, and well, can I check or look around? Does it seem like there was a battle of sorts? Like, does the landscape around us seem different? Make an investigation does... check. Ooh, first roll, first roll. Investigation. Twelve. You look around, there's a lot of footprints in the area, a lot of booted feet, and it's really hard for you to make head and tails out of what was here. It looks like a lot of people have tramped in this area quite recently. And uh, on, on Thor, he, he said none of his troops came back here, right? Or no one's been back here that he knows of. I believe I who what he said was here. the battle got pretty hairy, and they, it was everything they could do to stay alive. So he doesn't know if anybody made it back here or not. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should let yeah. them know that these are very important. That this isn't just some random battlefield. I don't know if they understand the importance of it. You're, you're, you're right, Oliver Elk. You should tell them about this. 
Um, Over elk. So how did how did the uh, how did they get here? How did well, like I know that the armies moved in here, but like how did they get warned? Armies. I know how I got warned, but they just moved uh, against each other. They came to protect the tombs. Well, then they it's should know. They should know what it is, well, then. No. Ben had said earlier in a previous night that huge armies attract lots of attention, and so that's what got all of the good allies to go gather up forces and, and come in and try to stop gotcha. them. Gotcha. Gotcha. That was the whole idea. I don't know that they actually understand enough about the tombs. I mean, Onthar just said they're dead. The champions are all dead. <laughs> well, that's not exactly true. Gotcha. I'm I'm following a little better now. It sounds like uh, they said, "Well, these guys want this. We're gonna not let them get that." And that's as far as they went. I don't even know if they knew what they were going to go get. We we don't know that. We just know sure. that it just converged yeah. here. And that's as far as we know. When you when you spoke to Anthar before, what he said was. They found traces of a demon army traipsing across the land, and they went, ah, uh, heck no, <laughs> and went and stopped it, more or less. Gotcha. Because whatever a demon army is up to, it's not good. <clears throat> um, okay, and the one that we opened before, that was the Black Star, is that right? No, the red one. Uh, the red one, the red one, the red yeah. star, okay. That's the one with the spider um, webs all over it. Gotcha. Well, not anymore. That's not, okay. not anymore, yeah. but that's the one that was, that you showed us, had all the webs in. All right. Yeah, you remember you had that's a little uh... rhyme you had to solve to figure out which door to open when you got here the first time. Had the red yeah, star in it. I don't know if it's in my notes. It's o over a year ago. I don't expect you to remember. <laughs> White, red, black, blue, orange. He's got the colors. I have the forge. My child, do blah, blah, blah. Nope. Anyways. Ain't got that. <clears throat> all right. You guys, what let's, you all, let's all uh, hop on. Hop on over. Mm. Nope. Back to the tower. Head back to the stop, tower. Stop by Anthar first and fill him in on how important this area is. Do not attempt to open them. Yeah. I mean, more than that, prevent anyone from trying to open these. That's this is it. their goal. This is what they wanted. So as you make your way into the little chasm area there through the through the southern end of the bluff or the plateau um, you uh, pick up voices and uh, then you see a flickering light ahead and right just inside the entrance of it a little bit as you come around a corner you find three soldiers uh, sitting around a campfire well two of them are sitting one of them is leaning up against a the wall. They notice you as you get closer. But don't make any move. Jesus. Are they a good yeah, allies? Uh, what you see is a, is a woman. Human. Uh, long, uh, dark hair. And she's actually quite beautiful. She uh, stands up, kind of dusts her pants off, and cocks her head towards you as you come out. Uh, sitting next to her, sing, kind of humming, singing to himself tunelessly as a tiefling. Huge speci specimen, big, huge forward-facing horns, and a very uh, demonic-looking face. Looks like a demon, but... Uh, Everybody's just kind of hanging out with him, so you're thinking tiefling. Um, and then the guy standing up against the uh, walls wearing a long, dark trench coat. Uh, 
he seems to be rolling uh, some kind of a, probably a tobacco uh, cigarette. He's got glasses on. Kind of looks over the top of him at you as you come out. Because we're all riding a giant elk. Uh, the woman kind of steps out to block your path and holds up a hand and says, All right, now, who are you? We're... Yeah, we're sort of close sentinels, duh. Who are you? Never heard of them. Us? Well, with the army. Uh, mercenaries. Oh. You know hirelings as they were my name's Wendy nice to meet you she holds out a hand oh yeah okay yeah you're, you're on it we elk. both we both awkward yeah we both <laughs> awkwardly lean over the elk and try to shake her hand at the same time uh, she she giggles and says oh well it's nice to meet you I don't think I've heard of the the Sword Coast Sentinels, you said? Yes. SS for short. You look like you uh, saw some battle. That we did. Looking at her, you notice that she's not hurt at all. (laughs) And neither is the man standing against the wall. But the tiefling looks like he's uh, seen some battle recently. You, uh... Here recently? No, oh, we we took part in the battle. Just that good? Well, sort of. How how, how about this? It's getting dark outside. Why don't you guys uh, camp here with us tonight and share some stories? It's you and our motley band. Hmm. I would like to try to insight this just to see if it's sinister or genuine. Go ahead. Eh, 14. Uh, she seems actually forthcoming and honest with you. Yeah. Just curious. I mean, it's a while until we can leave, anyways. The only person who knows where we went is Riken, and he's not in the right state of mind to probably worry about us, so probably okay. But that's just, just my opinion. Just sit for a while and share some stories with us, and then if you want to continue on, you know, that's fine. We're just, I'd just like to hear your story. Yeah, the guy uh, leaning uh, up against the wall kind of pushes off and goes, Ah, looks like you uh, might le- need a little something something too, you know? Mm. Well, if you want to hear my story. Well, I was don't know exactly where I was born. Don't know who my parents really were. It's in an orphanage for a while. And this was just going into his entire life story. <laughs> just opens up immediately. <laughs> So, uh, basically, your story is you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, and uh, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, but then I meet a dwarf. And then he adopts me, and then I start to know stuff. Sounds interesting. And then I met, like, a dragon, and shadow dragon, and I know some other stuff. Uh, and then I met demon, now I wish, know some stuff I wish I didn't. Um, the tiefling is making some kind of a stew and it looks like it's about done so they start ladling it out in wooden bowls are uh, any of you hungry? we're gonna eat got some bread, some cheese, some stew um sure but we can't stay long that's fine we have some friends back at our camp area But since we told you a story, why don't you tell us a story now? Uh, 
She she looks at you and nods, holds up a finger, and then uh, turns to the tiefling and goes, "Devil, we got three. No, wait, is the elk eating? Are you still elk? <laughs> I'm still elk, and nope, I'm just hanging out. But I got three people for more food." He turns and looks at her, nods, grabs three more bowls. Did she she yell out devil? Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Anyways, uh, that's devil. My name's Wendy. Wendy Berry. Nice to meet you. And uh, that's Jimmy. Jimmy Sinswell. Doctor Jimmy sits well, says the man with the trench coat. We don't have an actual doctor. We just have a cleric. I can I can help you guys out. Uh, what do you need? He uh, pulls open half of his trench coat. You see the inside of it lined with little pockets full of vials and various other things. And he goes, uh, maybe some of this might fix you up. What do you think? Um, what is it? Oh, it's a healing tonic. You rub it into your wounds. Helps you not lo- lo- helps you not uh, get scarred. You know, don't want to look like devil there. I kind of do. Wow, you really are a doctor. Feels good. Sense well. Sense well. Right. Right. I just fa- start fascinating over the coat. Yeah, this coat, this coat is amazing. So many pockets. Yes, yes, lots of pockets. Never have enough stuff to help out my companions. That's what I'm always saying. Wow, how much for that coat? Oh well, you know, I might be able to part with it. No, 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 it's fine. I'm sorry. We're we're guests at your camp. Well, I have another one. Well, it's nice to meet you guys. I'm Eidolon. Not just a, me. you know, just a friendly old wizard. And this is Tanuki. But, you know, a lot of people can't see him, so it's fine if you can't. But, um, yeah, we're kind of just traveling about. The good And, yeah, it's good to see some friendly faces. The doctor goes around and, uh, if you let him, treat your wounds. Also, no, no, I'm good. Uh, sure. Here, here I'll, I'll, like as I'm just kind of eating the gruel stew. It's stew oh. with actually fresh meat in it. I'll kind of say, bread. look, I had a, got a couple arrows in my chest earlier. That sounds terrible, says Wendy. Uh, I prefer not to get hit by arrows. Yeah, tell me about it. But uh, I suppose it's not as easy for all of you. And uh, the doctor says, "Wendy, we know you're 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 awesome. You're great." And she just kind of blushes and goes, "I have a secret." Oh. No one touches me. Why is that? Because one look and I can strike them dead. I was born with the gift of the evil eye. Neat. Uh, Sounds evil. Since, since Well says, pretty sure your granny was a witch. And she's like, shut up, Sensewell! The devil goes, whoa! 
turns and looks at the group. Uh, what's the biggest thing you can kill with that evil eye? I don't know. Uh, I haven't really tried on anything that's not humanoid. I'm not sure it would work. Mercenaries like us, we tend to, you know, stick with uh, more of the military campaigns. Well, with what's going on in the world right now, you might have to deal with a dragon at some point. So you guys are just on a job, helping out the armies? We're kind of on a journey, but, um, yeah. Well, sorry to keep you. You, uh, you can go on your way if you wish. Actually, I would, uh, uh, if, if it's not too much to ask, uh, I wouldn't mind a little more, uh, Stew, this is really good. Yeah. Uh, they dish you up some more. Managed to get a deer mm -hmm. earlier, says Wendy says. I look over at um, Olver, who's still in <laughs> in his, uh, what is it, giant elk, you said? I mean, not uh, for uh, much form? longer, because, what is it, an hour? No, five. Oh, that's right. You're up. Uh, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> I got. So I look over. Stand out. <laughs> that's why. You I understand. look over at him, and then I look back at him like, uh, I mumble it like a, sorry, and <laughs> just keep eating. <laughs> yeah, we caught one too. <laughs> <laughs> I look over and just snort. Have you been mentally uh, talking at all uh, over to the to the people we've uh, just encountered? No, nope, because I'm not sure that I trust them. Okay, that's actually why I'm in elk form. Oh, okay, just kind of as a because yeah. we, uh, we I mean we haven't said anything about you, we haven't introduced you, so yeah. But that's you know that's the reason why that's that's I mean, the that's ploy. <laughs> out of character, nice. there you go. Right. <laughs> okay. Meta. Um. Yeah, I I, uh, I ask, uh, well, how long have you guys been on on this campaign? It seems like um, it seems like you guys are pretty seasoned. Not quite as well as this uh, deer is, but yeah, we've been around. <laughs> I give it a good chuckle at that. Um, this. Uh, isn't your first uh, uh, excursion? Uh, so, uh, do you have any stories of uh, any any past uh, fights uh, or uh, events that have been very iconic for you? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she yells at Devil again. Hey, Devil! You remember that time at the Zai Pass? And he n nods and starts laughing while food is still in his mouth. Uh, like, <laughs> Zard Pass. <laughs> and uh, she goes, yeah, devil held off uh, what was it? Uh, uh, I think it was like a hundred soldiers all by himself. Well, not exactly by himself. I did thin out a few of them. I, I, I'll tell you what, I, I learned the limits of my ability that day. And uh, since well, just sat there rubbing ointments on the back of uh, on his back the entire time he was fighting. I didn't know you could do that, but it was pretty amazing. Kept him in the fight. Amazing. I uh, I haven't been any full in any full scale skirmishes other than the the part I stepped into when I got here, um, or got uh, near here, but. Uh, that's really impressive. 
Um, I have only been in small, small skirmishes. Nothing like that. As I keep eating. That was between uh, mouthfuls of food. Well, I'm sure you've got some pretty remarkable tales to tell. Unlike our little motley band. But we're going to probably get some sleep here. So uh, you're welcome to stay here or move on as you wish. Uh, devil. Uh, thank you. For... So go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say thank you for the food. But uh, yeah, we got to keep uh, heading on. So we enjoyed your company. Yeah, it's good meeting you. Maybe we'll see you again. She waves as you leave. What All right, and you make your way through the army. Are you headed back to see uh, Anthar Froom or back to the tower? To Froom, however, I'm going to uh, uh, idle on you can hear in your head. Maybe you should uh, find out about these three because I don't know that I really trust them and they're sitting at the entrance there. This seems fishy. Yeah, Are there I'll, any uh, other soldiers anywhere nearby, though? No. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll mention it to him. Look, maybe... Don't, don't you worry. Else, so I'll, 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 I'll rustle up his, your, your head, your fur. <laughs> don't you worry, your little elk head. You big goof. I'll look back and see. Can I see them? Like, I'd like to just kind of turn my head and see what they're doing. Looks like they're rolling out their bed rolls and stuff for bed. Okay. All right, I'll keep walking. Devil gets up and kind of walks over towards the inter you know, a little, little ways away from the fire and uh, kind of crouches, keeping watch. You can see the gleam of his red eyes as you walk away. It looks like he's watching us. Well, yeah. Which is okay. Like in particular, um, he watches you more than he wa looks around anywhere else. Okay. All right, on to Anthar. Okay, so you make your way into the army. Uh, I imagine you ask around a little bit to figure out where he is. Directed to a larger tent. Where you find uh, Onthar is currently struggling with one of his aides to get out of his armor. Uh, hey... Not there. I'd like I'd like to do a, a thing just because I, I don't think you guys are used to me throwing in, you know, references. Did anybody know what that reference was about? So Did I was anybody trying to know that it is a reference? I was trying to think. <laughs> I figured it was a reference, but I didn't catch what it was. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure what it is. Doctor Jimmy Sinswell. Windy Berry and Devil, who apparently is hard of hearing. No? Yeah. Nope, not ringing the bell. All right. <laughs> I'll give it a little while and then I'll tell you. So, Anthar Froom says. So, uh, you find everything that you needed? Uh, yeah. Seems like the tombs are still sealed, like we knew they were. But we were just wondering if, you know, maybe you could post some guards or keep it 
more watchful eye on this because I'm pretty sure that's what the demon army wanted was what's in these tombs. I already did post some guards. I'm sure you saw them. Oh, the Motley crew you had back there? Oh. Yeah, they're kind of a strange bunch, that's for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. They made pretty good stew and made some references I didn't understand. Were you answering? Or one of them. Hey, was that your no, answer one to of the them. reference? I mean, that's why I was trying to say Dr. Feelgood earlier. You know, just kind of oh, trying oh. to do it in-game. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I expected a more direct approach. Yes, that's exactly what they were, the Motley crew. You have Wendy nice. Berry with the looks that kill. You have Devil, who you have to shout at. And you have Dr. Jimmy Sinswell, a.k.a. Dr. Feelgood. Dr. Feelgood! That shout of the devil one was pretty clever, I'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, and a little piece of trivia for you. Uh, Wendy Berry is the name of the woman that the song Looks That Kill was written about. <laughs> would have had to been a fan, would it? That was a good little good little nod. I like that. No. So, uh, Eidolon, uh, you did get it right in the middle. I just wasn't sure you had gotten it, so I didn't give it to you. But you, you did mention it when you said said that. So I'll give you the reward for it after we're done. Yeah, yeah. All right. So moving on. Froom, uh, what were we saying? Um, it just to watch after the tombs and keep the demons are probably going to try to attack it but we're heading back to our camp and uh, from from at that he's like why would the demons want to attack the the tombs of dead heroes i don't understand they, they they may be in search of artifacts maybe from the tombs they seem like a evil bunch i don't know of any artifacts in there i haven't been closed for centuries Hold on. He's the one that sent us in for the, um, into the, uh, the tomb. To so what, what? Oh, oh yeah. Day. He sent us in here. He had the, the extra information of where to go when we left the Harpels. Yeah, that's right, over Elk. Careful. Didn't you send us in here, Altar Froom? To go search for the uh, spear of the champion. Altar gets a funny look on his face and goes, Yep, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't think I've met you before. Have we met? What? Oh boy. Things are not good. Um, so, oh, I, uh, I, um, wait, wait, sorry, uh, insight check that just to make sure. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Anybody oh, wants okay. to? Yeah, I think I would definitely. Like he doesn't really remember us. Damn. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He almost not 20. Yeah. That's anger. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh. Olver's not sure, but he's an elk, so... No, I'm an elk. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm playing the elk a little too well. He's like, he's not twitching his tail. <laughs> he's concentrating on pretending to be an elk so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he, he, se he, he seems like uh, he's telling the truth, to his knowledge. You don't de detect any... De Deception. I think we need to talk to them about this. Uh, I'll say back to your mind. Talk to who? Talk to Antar. Go back and mm -hmm. talk to the like in secret. Antar, we need to fill them in because this has been happening. This happened to Blackjack. This happened to 
uh, others as well. This isn't the first time. People seem to forget about certain events and they're not able to remember. Alright. I'll hop off over yeah. and like go up to Antar. Like, uh, Antar, we've, we've met a while ago and you sent us on a journey to the tombs. And apparently this has been happening a lot where people's memories have been getting lost or events have been happening that they don't they aren't aware of are are is there do you know of any about this anything about this Cause this could mean uh, bad this <laughs> this could be bad my boy it sounds to me like you've been eating the raw mushrooms you have mushrooms with you? No, sorry, this isn't the time. Uh, Ask him I, if, we should, if we should know that he's a part of the Order of the Gauntlet. Wait, do you, do you know about the Order of the Gauntlet? Of course I do! Look at my armor! It's covered with the symbol of it. This whole army is with the Order of the Gauntlet. I told you that when I got here. Something's afoot. Well, I wish my foot would get out of this boot. Would you quit pulling that way? Undo the strap first. I'll look back at our group. What do we do, guys? Do we... I don't know. He doesn't remember, and... I mean, I wasn't here to meet him the first time, so... Yeah, but we were. We, we met him at the uh, inn, and um, led into a room, and there's a special door. Kai was fascinated, fascinated with this door, all mechanical like and all that, but the fact that he doesn't remember, this is a really bad sign. I mean, Kai probably doesn't remember either. Yeah, I know, that's why I said it, maybe to jog to memory. <laughs> you remember the that mechanical was door, yeah. Kai? I do, I, I, remember the, I remember the secret room where we had the meeting, where we uh, were introduced to... Uh, uh, some people initially to start the mission, and then uh, when we got back, um, kind of a little bit of a debrief. Okay. See, he does remember things. Nice. nice. It's been Broad, a strokes. While. <laughs> Broad strokes. Broad strokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good to have you back, though. <laughs> I shall murder them all. I mean, uh, hmm. So, anyways. Well, I don't think we can deal with this right now. Maybe we should head back, fill Riken in, and... I'll be right back, guys. Sorry, start, uh, start. phone call from my daughter. No problem. Yep. And then just kind of think this over. I think they still need that... to know how important these tombs are. They're, they don't know. I don't know if they're going to remember it after we tell them, but... At least try. Yeah, we... We let them know to protect this and keep guards. No, not just to protect it, to understand, to understand why. Like, tell them everything that we've done? Tell them that we've about the tombs. been messing with the phase? Yeah, that they're not actually, actually dead. That they were asleep for however long, hundreds of years. Yeah, I... I think he already thinks I'm a crazy guy. I don't know if that will go over too well. Um, well it looks like we're probably going to stay here the night, right? Uh, how, that, how late that, is that, it, man? It's past full dark. So it's probably headed towards 7. PM maybe eight, maybe seven thirty. We 
can still make it to the tower. Get, right? Getting pretty cold, too. All right, Anthro's just going to hear in his head. Hello. Um, my name's Olva. I'm the elk that you probably didn't realize is not just an elk. His eyes widen a little bit, and he looks around, and looks over at the elk, looks at everybody else, and goes, uh, does your, uh, does your elk talk? Uh, yes, yeah. Do. This is over, by the way. Look, there are things that are very strange here. These tombs are too important to not protect, and to keep them protected. We don't even know if it's too late. That army was here to collect something from here. The Fae, those champions, they're not really dead. They were sleeping. And there's some really bad ones in there that you do not want out. And that's what the Demon Armor was, army was here for. I know you call them all champions, but... That wasn't necessarily true. Some, yes, were champions. Others not. Make a persuasion check. Is that with disadvantage or advantage as an elk? <laughs> I think we'll just go with a straight roll. Yeah, negative one, so eight. Yep. Anthar goes, I don't really know what to think of a talking elk. Is it a fake creature? Seems a little shady. Well, we'll be camped here for a little while longer anyways. Protect it as best as you can. That's really weird. Why do you think it all happened here? Well, they were pillaging and headed north. So happened to happen right here in front of the tombs? Or here, of all places? He shrugs and says, I don't know. Maybe you should find out why then. Make another persuasion roll. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to let him know. The Fae that we're talking about, you should have people look it up as fast as you can. In particular, the Blood Fae. That's one of them that's in there. But there's also the Dawn Fae, the Dusk Fae, uh, the Angel Fae, and the Veiled One. That's what they, call they are called. Alright, make your roll. Okay, another persuasion coming up. My goodness. Just, Over Elk is terrible at persuasion. Because uh, you guys know your Elk has got some weird stories, right? Uh, what have you been feeding him? All those damn good berries. Maybe you should lay off for a little while. Wait well, long, you no help here. <laughs> uh, what I'm assuming he told you is right. I'll tell you um, real quick. There you go. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> so, yeah. You want to make sure that you uh, look into this. It's quite a fairy tale you have. Met a couple of fairies, but the fairy this is no tale from the trusted. fairies. Yeah, we know, we know. But 
Those aren't fake but... creatures buried in those tubes. You know that, right? Yes, we do. Those are the five champions that died defending the, you know, the Sword Coast. Which we are the sentinels of. Sure, sure. But... You know, I think... We may need to do some research ourselves. He's finally out of his armor now, and he goes, Well, I've got things that I need to be doing, so uh, if you need something, right. talk to me tomorrow. And he uh, All right. gestures, you know, towards you removing yourselves from his tent. All right, let's... Uh... Let's quickly head back to the tower. Why would you guys have an elk try to per persuade him to do things? I don't know. <laughs> it seems like a Everyone terrible idea. <laughs> but oh well, no, that's what happened. <laughs> somebody somebody, draw up some crude artwork for this, because it'd be hilarious. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. <sighs> So you head outside. Right. You head back to the tower. Yeah, it's not too cold for everybody else. I mean, I'll be fine. Yeah. All right. All right. Heading back. Head back to the tower. Get back to the tower. Riken's still in his room. Yeah, he's still in his room. Okay. Okay. Riken is in his room. You guys arrive. I'll, uh... Just as we're passing by, I'd knock on Riken's door and say, Hey, we're back. You just hear and him snoring. He's, he's probably drunk. Yeah. And then just move on. See if uh, Zephyros is still awake or not. Well, he was asleep. He was uh, asleep. Yeah, that's right. He is awake now, though. He's awake and currently working on something. Bre Looks like he's either making or brewing something. I'll go and ask or inquire about the tower. Oh, the tower, hey. uh, she's not in such good shape, but uh, she should be sky-worthy in about a week, I think. So, yeah, that's just how it's going to be. I guess it makes sense. They get hit a lot. Um, well, we're back, and let me know if you need any help repairing. The structural damage wasn't so bad, but, uh, whatever that was that they hit us with that knocked us out of the sky, that, uh, that drained most of the magical energy out of the tower, and, uh, I'm going to have to... Concentrate on recharging the old battery before I can get her in the air. So. Alright, well, if you need any extra magical energy, just give me a holler. Sure, sure. Um, and then I'll start heading towards my room. Okay. Uh, and then just kind of out, out loud to the crowd, just, hey guys, um, kind of drained, you know, I did die earlier today, so I think I'm going to go lay down for now, and we did just kind of learn a lot that's uh, hurting my brain, 
So I'm going to go take a rest, and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, I hope to do that tomorrow. Everybody going to take a long rest? Yep. All right. I think I'm going to try and, before I go to sleep, um, oh, wait, I don't know if I can do that yet. Nope, I can't do it. I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Never mind. Move the calendar ahead today. Now the seven. We're on day seven after how many sessions? <laughs> You've been One, on the two, same three, day four, for... five, <laughs> six. Yeah, six <laughs> sessions. We've been on day six. It was a long day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a really long day, guys. Actually, I think there might have been two days in there, weren't there? Um. Well, I mean... We had a few sessions where we did the God. Oh, the... That, that's what's throwing me off. Yeah. Yeah. But still, I, I, I keep track of all the days because my portents. So it's kind of funny that now we're finally out of. You finally six. get new portents. <laughs> Yay. All right. So short change it. Take your long rest. Wake up the next day. Uh, it was Riken drinking? Yeah, he was. Make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Oh, Joe Licka. Ah, he's fine. You can, you can role play it however you want, we'll say. Still looks like shit. Okie dokie. Wake up the next morning. I come out of my room and uh, um, kind of doing the pee pee dance. Uh, um, I'm waiting for somebody out in the hallway. I'm just like, or out in the in the foyer area, just kind of like, uh, uh, guys, I forgot where the bathroom is. <laughs> uh, can I just point to a window? <laughs> oh, a window. Uh, um, oh, I yeah. definitely sleeps in. Okay. Oh, I, f I, uh, I wake up. Uh, pretty refreshed because all I did was bring somebody back from the dead with the help of my god. So I'm not really that tired or sore. I did some traveling, talked to some people, but I really didn't do much in regards to fighting. Reckon has no active conditions. Noise. <coughs> I want to talk to Zephyros and see how long before the tower is back up and running. Alright. So you head up uh, to find Zephyros. He's not on the middle floor. Uh, look out the windows. Is he outside? Nope. Don't see him outside. But the uh, top floor. Yeah, he is up there tending to the griffins. Let me see him up there with maple and spruce. And you see that uh, one of the nests is is gone, and the other the other one is empty. Well, actually. Uh, two of the um, the the nests are empty because um, Adelar's nest is empty as well. No, I plan on breeding these guys someday. What the Griffins? Probably not together. Yeah, the Griffins. Oh, the Griffins? Yeah. Well, there's only two of them. 
No, no, this is me talking to Zephyrus. Just talking about Griffins in general. Yeah, just like, you know. Hopefully, I'll be able to repay you for all the favors you've done for us, you know. Well, I don't know if that's going to be possible, Reckon. Why's that? The Lodge is dead. He was the male. There's gotta be other griffins out there, right? Well, yes, but mine are domesticated, and wild griffins won't have anything to do with them. I just gotta figure out how to domesticate some more griffins in. I mean, if you could do it to a stallion, you could probably do it to a griffin. Do that? Yeah, they got ears. You can bite their ears. But, uh,. How long do you think before the tower's back up and running? I'm uh, probably gonna take a week. Five days at least. Going ahead uh, without you, do you want to meet up with us somewhere? Figure we can move on ahead, get a little bit more information. Well, Riken, I, uh, I think that it's time that I return to the north. It's obviously not safe for for me, my tower, and my griffins here. Yeah, that makes sense. Can't really blame you for that. Alright, well, do you need I, any of our I don't roll you know? a D100 for me, please. One sec. I'm sorry, Riken. I need to recover for a while. I think it's time that I spent a little, a little time with my own kind. Perhaps in the future we will meet again, but for now, my tower and I are going to head north. I will not forget you, however, and if you have deep need of me, uh, Contact me via the Sending Stones, and I will help you if I can. I will do, bud. One last arm wrestle. Ha! <laughs> You'll lose. Not this time. <laughs> he, uh, hunkers down and tries to, you know, uh, find a way to arm wrestle you. <laughs> His massive size means that you're arm wrestling like his pinky. I got it. All right. Make an athletics check. Ah, oh, it's not as good as it could have been. No, he still beat you. It was what? a little bit of a struggle, though. That's just God the D20, not his pluses. Yeah. There you go. Won't be able to tell my kids I beat a giant, but... <laughs> you were hoping. <laughs> it's actually pretty close. He only beat you by two, so... Like I said, it's, it was a closer Wait, thing than I thought it was going to be. 
Do you have your uh, inspiration? That's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not using it. We both we both rolled fourteens though, so yeah, it is what it is. He's just stronger. Technically, he should have advantage too for his size, so <laughs> uh, I should get a second roll, but uh, it probably wouldn't matter. He probably rolled lower. Yeah, he rolled lower, so it's not like it mattered. Um, not twenty breaks my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, right. uh, All right. Eidolon, did you roll a d hundred? Yes, sixty three. Burst into flames. Uh, no, but meet me in whispers. Whispers. So, um, you when you wake up, your your um your visions that you are having of your past, um, they carry over into the waking world. So you suffer hallucinations and uh, vivid hallucinations and um, you have, well, as far as die rolls go for the, for the, the first hour of your morning, you suffer vivid uh, hallucinations, and it gives you disadvantage on all ability checks. Okay. Uh, so roleplay-wise, that's up to you to determine how that works out. But because of the deep, unsettling nature of what you're experiencing, I gave you essentially a short-term madness. So, oh man! Story wise, story wise, it means your story carries your your dreams still seem like reality for the first hour that you're awake. Okay. So I, so I feel like I'm dying, basically, or getting chased, or whatever part of it you choose to do. Okay. I'll leave that up to you. So have fun with it. Get creative, and it's gonna be wild. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I gotta think about it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. go. We'll go back. Okay. Okay. Alright, back. <clears throat> Alright, All right, sh- sh- don't talk about it. Everybody wakes up. Yeah. What? Hmm? My cat is meowing. Shh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, everybody wakes up, gets up in the morning. Riking go heads upstairs, like you said, early in the morning, and talks to Zephyros. What's everybody else doing? Well, um, I guess I'll just meet everyone for breakfast. Yeah, all of us doing the same. Yeah, breakfast sounds good. I mean, we had a big dinner, but uh, breakfast still sounds good. (laughs) All right, so you guys... Uh, head over to see what you can make. And when you head out of your rooms, uh, you notice the line has actually already got something laid out on the table there. Looks like uh, either herself or herself and her kobolds have made everybody breakfast. Wait, the line? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought that she was taken. Yeah, she was. What the? <laughs> She's a dragon. <laughs> Is Mars here too, then? 
Uh, you don't see her. I'm gonna. Hey, I'm gonna go over and talk to her. Uh, you got away. Did well, you bring Mars with you? Yeah. Well, yes, of course I brought Mars with me. What do you expect? So you went to their to their mansion. You've seen it, the estate. Yes. Oh, Briefly. That's beautiful. Uh, they're gonna have I to do a little bit of repairs. Good for you. Riken! I'll call it to Riken. Get over here. Riken is two floors up and over a hundred <laughs> feet away. <laughs> Probably not gonna hear you. <laughs> I I gotta tell Riken that you're all back. It was a whole thing yesterday. It was a bad day. I'll go find Riken. Eva Lyons just kind of humming happily to herself as she dishes out uh, plates of food. Roiken. Yep. You're never going to believe it. The line and, and Mars are back. They're here. That's cool. Uh, you got to tell them they got to move out. Wait, what? Yeah. We're getting kicked out. What happened? What did you do? I didn't know. Zephyro says he needs to spend some time with his, you know, family. So he's going back up north. We're going the opposite right. way. Well, I mean, at least we got some good news that, you know, Mars is back. Well, uh, let's go down and eat, and then uh, figure out our next move. Uh, the tower's going to be here for about a week, getting repairs and whatnot, so we've got a few days. Um, so, before I start, I'd like to roll my portents for the day. Okay. Uh, Riken, as you head downstairs, you see Mars on the middle floor, standing there with her hands on her hips, head cocked to one side, glaring at you as you descend in the, in the uh, gravity lift. And all, all she says is, and where were you? And then turns around and huffs off the other direction. What are you mad about? Oh, she, she stormed off. Away I, from I know, just... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And then you continue your way downstairs for food, which is all laid out already. Yep. The smell wakes you up, Eidolon. But it also brings all you up. All of a sudden, noise. everyone would hear now just Eidolon screaming. No! No! Stay away! Just screaming. I don't want to scream, though, because that would hurt my throat. And probably our ears and any listeners we might have. Yeah. I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> Over would go run over trying to figure out what's going on. Pound on the door. What's the matter? Just continuing. No! Don't hurt them! Is the door locked? No. Yeah, open up the door. What's going on? He's just, Eidolon's standing at the foot of his bed and just looking out in terror and screaming at nothing. You guys can't see anything. 
Just no, stop it. Don't you hurt them. What do you see? What's going on? Are you going crazy? What's Tanuki up to? Um. I will. Don't you come near me. Stay away. And I'll start rummaging through my uh, uh, bag of holding. And I will pull out a short sword. Oh, crap. That thing. It's, is this a sword that he got out of the, the Blood Fae? Him. Maybe. Is it? It's distinctive looking, so is it? Anybody that's in I'll the room... I'll just start holding it. I'll start holding it out, like, defensively. Don't you dare. What you see in... You never had that thing identified yet. What's, what's wrong with you? I'll take a lunge attack. Against who? Towards whoever, to our, whoever's first I can see. Well, who's the closest? Over? Probably. I don't know who's all with us. Not getting a lot of chat chatter from anybody else, so... Uh, Where's everybody else? I mean, I'm there, I mentioned. Okay, so you're in the room with him? Yeah, but not... <clears throat> I just need to know who's closest. Can we get the uh, map? Oh, did I, I forgot I haven't moved you to the map. I'm looking at it. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I would be like right there. Guy's like, nope, in my room. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, well, I was at the table and, like, I'm hearing it, but I don't know what to do. I've never seen him go off like this before. Like, so. Does he always do this? <laughs> <laughs> he really does I'm like, I know I've missed a lot, but holy crap. <laughs> what about Riken? Where's Riken? I'm at the table. I just went through some emotional trauma. I can't deal with this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the party's falling apart. <laughs> yeah. Well, backstory stuff. You guys made it, not me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just drowning my emotions in breakfast. <laughs> oh, nom. Okay. So, do I take an attack or? Yeah. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that's gonna hit <laughs> I just saw that meme <laughs> that's good 24 to hit yeah that definitely hits so 5 piercing what else because it doesn't what else? I'm, look, sorry, it's new. 
such a lovely name for a sword. Uh, the sword, I believe, does additional damage. Trying to, yeah. It does a plus two. Oh, so just, yeah, the five, was that the, yeah, five, one D6 plus two. No, in this in this situation, it's gonna do an additional D six. This is the DM telling you. Oh, gotcha. And another five. Because that the the short sword description you have is kind of the version that doesn't tell you everything. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I was trying to read that out. <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing? And uh, all of that damage, when it hits you over, it uh, pulls blood from your body and sucks it into the blade. Which, you look at the blade, and it's bone white, but it gains a bloody red color that kind of swirls through it after it's hit you. Stay away from me. I'll back away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to fire the mind. Cast slow. So, can you take a wisdom saving throw, Ido? Yeah. Need to be I get Good thing I get advantage on him. Oh, yeah, we got it. Riken, we need you to come hold Ido. Something's wrong. Is over. Monkey with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard with a sword. That's pretty good. <laughs> what, you need me to come in there, barreling in there, and tackle him, or what? Yep. Like Goldberg, I'll just come in, lower the shoulder, and tackle him to the ground. All right. Uh, so what is that? What do we have to do? Well, I think the two of you need to roll initiative. And if anybody else wants to, to be part of this, then they should roll initiative as well. I look up from my food, but... There, there's food on the table. It's really inviting. Um, I think that they've got it big. in hand. Be, I think everybody should roll it real quick, just so that it's on there. <laughs> it's yeah. not going to be a big thing, especially Let's if I get see. initiative first. And if you select your token <laughs> first, it'll, make sure you select your token before you roll initiative, so that it puts it straight in the track. Ooh, what's your dex, Riken? Plus one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I have the highest initiative. <laughs> no. You're just like spoonful of like food in your mouth. Kai's you just know. eating like. <laughs> what are you guys doing? More crazy. Thought stuff. it was breakfast time. <laughs> First talking heads, now <laughs> screaming Ido. <laughs> what have you gotten yourself into? <laughs> I just start praying over my food. Gone. <laughs> over your turn. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, uh, what what happened with Riken right now? Did it, did you grapple or anything? He or just what? got into the room. Oh, uh, just we, got we, we have to roll initiative because uh, Eidolon <laughs> is not going to willingly stand there and let Riken hit grab him. So, okay. <clears throat> um, shoot. I... And then, then Riken would go before me, too, since we rolled the same. Oh, he does. Yeah. I... What's your, your deck? <laughs> you have a point one so on I, there. I have a, yeah, but he doesn't. I don't think Riken added in the uh, pluses or whatever. Because well, I only I have, a, just... I have a 10 dexterity. Okay, I have a 12 dexterity. I so just yeah, rolled dexterity. Goes no, hmm. you go first. It, uh, it goes by whatever the dexterity is as the secondary, so. Okay. So I'm just like, I got cut open by my friend, and so I don't think I'm doing anything at the oh, moment. Oh, and that wound hurts. 
I'm sure it did. More than so I'm taking a beat. I just <laughs> act away. <laughs> like get a, Do not let that sword hit you. All right. So you taking a beat, Riken? You're you're up. Grapple. You remember how to grapple? I'm looking at it right now. It's athletics contested by athletics or acrobatics. Okay, so uh, you can choose which one to use. Oh, uh, oh you. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. No, there's no need to roll. I, I either have a I either have a plus zero or a minus one. Well, I think you should roll no. because if you nat one, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll try to get a zero roll. <laughs> oh, not bad. Uh, Minus one. Not no. bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you try to get, try to fight back against it, but new. No. Riken grabs a hold of you. That doesn't. Now you're just grappled. You are not restrained, so you can I, you can still oh, attack know. him. Riken, I yeah, but I. So I get another action in combat though, because I get two attacks per action. Yeah. Uh, it says right here, if you're able to make multiple attacks with the attack action, this attack replaces one of them. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I so remember I can... that from last time. Yeah. Yep. Uh, in that case, I would like to try and just... So it says, like, improvise. Would you let me improvise in action and try to disarm the sword from his hand? Uh, disarming strike? Do you have Even if that? it's just like, no. Like, I was just thinking, like, I don't know if just squeezing his wrist really hard if I had to, or I don't know. So the it's, problem is... It's, it's a yeah, I mean, if it takes an action, I don't see why not. It, I mean, it, that's, a, that's, is, group, that's true. It's, a, it, it's an ability that specific classes have, and if I get oh, that's right. the ability to do it, then I'm taking mm -hmm. away from those classes. Yeah, okay. that's a fighter, fighter ability, or like a combat something. Yeah. I forget. It's the battle master. So yeah, battle master. I'm hesitant to do that. Um, Not I, a problem. I don't think that you yeah, just sucker punch something. him. Just sucker punch him. It's fine. Just don't break his head open. All right. It would disarm him. So what are you going to do? I am going to... Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. That's going to make it Eidolon's turn. Let me see something here. Uh, my turn. Yeah. So, um, Reagan, if you notice, Eidolon's eyes are just kind of like wide open, and he notices you you grabbing him, but it seems like he's not even looking at you. He's just like looking through you. Um, he'll just take a little crazy swing, but he can, you know, just trying to break free but attacking. So it'd be disadvantage, you said? Yeah. You're not aiming at the target in front of you, so... Okay, good. I had that one. Uh, so Riken is trying to disarm you, and you nat one. So I'm going to say that he manages to knock the blade out of your hands. Noise. Situationally, but that works. That's a one on damage, though, not the attack. Oh, was I reading it wrong? But I did. No, that's, no, that's a one d twenty roll. That's his twenty. He's rolling disadvantage. Oh, oh, that was the attack roll. Got you. And then I rolled a six on the other one. We're thirteen. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. It was disadvantage, so you take the nat one. So yeah, blade falls to the ground. 
with a clatter. Right. Then with my bonus action. You know what that does, right? Eidolon? When the blades knock from your hands? Uh, let me... I don't know. Let me... Do I have that info? Uh, we talked about it, but... Uh... Sorry, I don't remember. Now just join me in whispers real quick. We'll hit it real quick. Uh, okay. The, the blade, when it when it's forcibly removed from your hands, will reach out to you. Um, and uh, strongly encourage you to do whatever you can to pick it back up. Okay. So. So, like, now I want to go grab it again. Yeah, and it's just at your feet, so. Okay, that's easy. I know what to do. All right. Alright. Back. Yeah, the sword. Okay. Alright. So then with my bonus action, I will uh, speak my incantation and in Misty Step out of Reich and Scrapple and basically just step floor behind below me so I can grab my sword and then back away. I can do that. Uh, it, you get an attack of opportunity, Riken. I won't attack him. Okay. Did you scoop up the blade too? Yeah, that that was the point. Yeah, I was gonna missy step out so I could grab the sword and then back away. Okay. All right, and you're done. And then, at the end of it, though, I would just kind of keep screaming, look out, like thousand yard stare style, and then just this like. The screaming would almost like come to a stop as I just start grabbing on my, onto my chest and just screaming in pain now, just ah, and kind of fall down to my knees, just screaming in pain, and then I faint. All right, Idolon passes out. Are we still in combat right now? No. It dropped. Okay. Combat's gonna... dropped immediately because he's no okay, longer I just, hostile. I just uh, want to double check because I got something I can do. So I'm going to run up, I'm going to touch him and touch and uh, cast Greater Restoration, uh, kicking the sword out of his hand, though. Uh, I want to grab a sheet off the bed and pick up yeah. the sword with the sheet so I don't touch it. Okay. So Greater Restoration, what it does, I'll post it. is it will cure you of um, the attunement, uh, which I, I'm assuming you're not attuned to it, but also any cursed, any curses or anything like that. So hopefully this will help. Does it help you too? No, it doesn't. I don't think so. I don't think it requires attunement. Okay, yeah. but this, this is at least but a still. curse. There's like a curse put on you. So uh, that's, that... that's all I'm trying to do. So yeah, this would be up to Ben. I don't know the rules about yeah. stuff. Once again, I don't just don't remember. <laughs> we went over <laughs> all of this. <laughs> but it's different now that I'm like unconscious. Yeah. But I tried to like keep true to all the other stuff. I mean, while I went down, I would have been, like, clutching the sword, too, but still. Alright. So yeah. the spell goes uh, can, off? The spell goes off, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's unconscious, so... Yeah, we probably won't know anything. Alright, just right, take that sword. Remember that uh, we can destroy evil things. See if we can destroy that here in the tower. Remember for that in, uh, in 
the lion's room now. Ezra, you there? Sorry, I got distracted by something What's up. Oh, okay. Um, I was just saying, take that sword to the lion's room where uh, Naratog was kept. Because we can destroy... Yep. Oh, Hopefully yeah. we can destroy this. I don't know if we can or not, but we can at least attempt to. Seems bad. We don't want it. Sounds good. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, you start to walk out of the room. Eidolon, uh, go ahead and roll for an attack with that sword again, please. Eight. The sword turns on you, Ezra, slicing into your body, dealing... I don't see damage on there. There we go. Dealing four points of piercing damage and uh, leaving uh, a very angry red wound. Uh, let me read something real quick. Uh, I don't know if this will work. I'm going to attempt to cast Banish on the sword, but it only works on a creature. Uh, so that, that spell will auto-fail on the sword. Oh, okay. Then it's just going to get dropped on the floor? Unless it's, like, floating? Nope, it doesn't float. It just drops to the ground. It just, like, you're trying to hold it gingerly, and, I don't know, there's... Uh, it's almost like you felt like something slipped and the blade sliced into you. Almost like it was happenstance, but you know it wasn't. Because you were being careful. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, guys, the sword doesn't want to go. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it on the floor. Go walk away. Okay. Also, I can't banish it. All right. I think maybe we should separate Oilon from the sword right now. Out of the room. Let's take him out. Um, so I'll keep Ido where he is. And I'm going to try to just nudge the sword with my sword. And just like skitter it across the hall here. <laughs> Where are you trying to skitter it oh. to? Damn, the extra dimensional door is on the other... One of these rooms has nothing in it, right? There's nothing in this room, right? I don't think so. I'm just gonna... Like a hockey puck, just keep smoothing <laughs> it into there. <laughs> I'm just gonna lock it in that room. Okay. And I'll throw the blanket over it. <laughs> Time out. You know what you did. <laughs> All right. Swords in there with blanket on it. <laughs> oh, I figured it out. I finally figured it out. Out of out of character, of course, because in character, I still have no idea. Okay. <laughs> okay, yes, I was oh. Swords in the room. What are you guys doing? Looking over Ido right now. He's unconscious. Uh, but his breathing and stuff would be, you know, fast and erratic. Probably still twitching like he's having a nightmare. Yeah, 
I'm at a loss. Kai pipes up from the table, uh, seeing Ezra kicking the sword <laughs> into the other room. Uh, what is, what is, ah, I'm afraid to ask, what is going on? Um, evil sword? You have a sword that's evil? I don't. I swear. <clears throat> I don't have an evil sword. Um, it might have possessed him a little bit. Um, when I tried to carry it away, it cut me. So now it's in timeout. <laughs> All uh, I can say... Is anyone hurt? All I can say, Kai, is that they have done a lot of things when you weren't around, and they haven't really addressed any of them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you um, have no it's, idea. It's... They're still carrying around a book that kills random people. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's just, I know. It's like, how, how can you tell all these stories and just like, hey, it's nice to meet you again. By the way... Yeah, I haven't <laughs> I haven't seen any of this, but uh, okay, the sword sounds like a bad situation. Is anyone hurt, uh, Ezra? Is anybody hurt in there? I mean, I got a boo boo, yeah. but uh, um, I think Over and Riken got much worse. Riken got hurt too. I don't think he did. That... No, I mean just emotionally that he had to rescue <laughs> his friend. <laughs> he had to beat, he had to beat uh, Ido. Um, okay, I'll go check on him and see if they need any healing or, I don't know, psychiatry. Um, therapy. That's sting real bad, though. And, and also, Ezra, the wound is not bleeding. It, the, it's just, the, it is it still bleed. red? It's just, yeah, red. Same thing with you, Ulver. Okay. Not, the, the wound does not bleed. Is, is it? But it looks is it healed like, up or is it open? It's an open yeah. wound with no blood coming out of it. Oh, okay, yeah, we might need you to look at that. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get together on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <Some> bad shit. <laughs> um, no, I can just walk it off. I'll just walk it off. It's fine. Just walk it off. Did, did anybody tell him where you found that thing? <laughs> <laughs> no, Not yet. Haven't I haven't had a yet. chance to ask. <laughs> we, we were in the middle of battle and like chasing people. Yeah, around. I got nothing. <laughs> we were supposed to. No, Ben. We were supposed to deal with that the next morning before you threw. Oh, by the way, you're getting blasted with rocks being flung at you. Oh yeah, that's right. right. I never we didn't, we didn't uh, have I have a, I haven't let you guys have a moment, have I? <laughs> ah, too yeah. bad. I, I would just move on. <laughs> <clears throat> like like I said, it was one crazy day. <laughs> just long been, day. Just one one long day. Yeah. Long um, day. <laughs> well, it's a new day. Let's uh let's try and heal these people of this demonic sounding sword that doesn't seem to let people bleed, which is really weird. Um, does it let people heal them? I'm going to try to heal Ezra. Um. But I'm going to do that by uh, starting out small, since it doesn't look like he's in too much pain as he walked across this area without, like, falling down screaming. Um, so I'm probably just going to do, like, a... Uh, I think Cure Wounds, if, if I if I touch him, would be okay. Um, let's see what that gives us. That's at a first level spell, so that seems to have done it. That, well, if it if it if it works, like I don't know, is there who? is there any way to make healing difficult or who are you healing? Ezra, I'm like right next to him. Okay. Well, I mean, so I'm, spell, I'm moving closer to him. You say so. a prayer to God to heal Ezra's wound, and you feel the magical energy pass through you into Ezra, but the wound does not heal. Um, Ezra, I hate to tell you this, but, um, you're open to the world. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, man. Um, 
I just tried a, a pretty standard healing from, uh, uh, well, from my god, and uh, it didn't work. Sword is stronger than god. I highly doubt that. Um, just that I group. think my symbol. I think my symbol at that point would get uh, pretty hot, um, indicating Gon's uh, displeasure with that. <clears throat> with that uh, uh, assessment of the uh, situation, I in fact would not be very happy with that assessment either. Um, but I don't know. Would identify work on this as it, as I already I, I already know who uh, Ezra is. Just roll an investigation check. Okay, uh, having tried you. to heal the wound, you, your own senses uh, can be used to determine. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, it's obviously some kind of a magical disease. Oh, I don't. <laughs> a magical disease. Um, I don't think in my background I've had much experience with magical diseases, but at least I'd be able to identify it. Do we have anybody who is uh, proficient with magic and? Uh, disease uh, characteristics, like uh, somebody who's you know been around for it's a while. Medicine, but it's like natural medicine, not magic. Well, and I don't even know how badly you're injured. Um, how bad? How? I mean, I'm. I assume this hurts like a son of a gun. Yeah, oh. I probably hear you. Yeah, but... it's it's really painful. I I think I mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. It, it, are any other effects that I can feel or sense beyond just it, pain and the fact that you I'm not You can feel, after since you were wounded first, you do feel that it might slowly be getting worse. Uh, oh, getting worse. Oh, that sucks. Um, Ezra, is, uh, is your pain getting wound. worse? Is it? Or is it just mutating? Um, no, yours doesn't feel like it's getting worse. It's just kind of what it is. <laughs> it's not, it's not great, but it's not getting worse. Well, um, can wh yeah. where where are you injured at? Are you injured on your like arm? Injured in my hand. Your hand. Uh, let's at least bind it with uh, with some dressing, just to some dressing. Um, well, uh, <laughs> a wound dressing. I know. I don't just... want an infection. <laughs> oh yeah, that kind of dressing. <laughs> Oh. Don't be fun of me. I Italian. use words. Oh, I just I, things are just funny to me right now. What can I say? <laughs> Put some croutons in there. It'll help, you know, if it does start bleeding. <laughs> oh wait, Ben's gonna get sick. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got rid of it. Don't look, Ben. <laughs> that was really gross. <laughs> it was pretty bad. I only saw the first part. I didn't see the rest of it. That was terrible. <laughs> Jeez. Um. Yeah, that was. Bad. I didn't see it. So. <laughs> um. Don't, don't. I'm not putting it back. You guys um, like we're good. Ben. Um, ben? <laughs> right. <laughs> he's, he's, you don't even hear the mic mute. He's just vomiting over there. Um, uh, so let's go ahead and bind the wound with uh, some uh, medical dressing. Um, and uh, we will uh, uh, try and get over to um, Ulver as he's probably still screaming or at least in, in a great deal of pain. Um, ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. ow. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I think uh, this might take a little more than um, magical healing to fix. Um, do we have someone who deals in, in alchemical uh, concoctions like um, I don't know, maybe the owner of uh, said tower? Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Where's his name? He's sleeping still. Zephyrus. There we go, Zephyrus. Oh yeah, call Dr. Feelgood. <laughs> 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 uh, 
I mean, it would have been nice, but um, I mean, you I know, don't have they, a... uh, they did get hit with a cursed weapon, so maybe something curse related. Oh, I don't, I'm, I don't know. Any, I'm, like, I'm dead. I'm dead. But you're you're asleep. <laughs> you're not dead yet. Um. Let me see. I got cure wounds. If you if he wasn't in the ER room, they'd be like, he's gonna flatline. But yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Just a flesh wound. Look at that! I took three of the party down with one little short sword. It's amazing. Well, what I could do is let them all die and then use revivify, but I don't want to do that. Uh, some diseases don't allow you to resurrect things. Damn. You would you would actually know that. So Well, I would know that, but I wouldn't know that this is one of those. No, I didn't uh, say it was one of them. I'm just saying you don't know what this disease is other than it's magical in problem. nature. Mummy rot is an example of a magical disease that if it kills you, you're not coming back. Hmm. Where was Zephyros earlier? He was on the top floor. I'm just going to shamble my way <laughs> to the uh, <laughs> elevator deal. <laughs> it's just, He's uh, just tired of waiting. He's like, oh, <laughs> fuck. It's, oh. Like, it's like going to our local hospital and just waiting for anything to happen. <laughs> That's Kai. <guy. laughs> I mean, our hospital is, is really well known for that, actually. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Hey, I got good enough care, okay? <laughs> good enough care. That's what they should put on front of that hospital. <laughs> good enough shepherd. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, no identifying nice information. <laughs> what are you talking about? I didn't say. They will mention the I did not Portland name address it. before they're going to zero in on us. They will lead us to the flock, which isn't a good way to look at it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um yeah, I'm going up to Zephyros like <laughs> Did you use up your only casting of that spell? I have one more. That's it. Hmm. I I have enough for two more castings, but I only get two spell slots, so <laughs> I used up one and I don't even know if it works. I have no idea. Nope, you don't. I was just I was just wondering if it was even an option. Well, it is, but the way I read it, I don't think it's going to help in this particular case. Because it's not a healing thing. It's, it's. I, I don't know. It could be a curse. I don't know. You simply don't know. Don't know yet, so I'm going to go find out. I don't even know. Well, you don't know much of anything at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not true. You do know some things. All of them yeah. are horrifying. <laughs> yeah. I still got to wonder why you have a... Freaking sword in your bag that you didn't ever identify. Oh, he identified it. We didn't have time to. No, that's that's why is because I identified. Oh, that's why you kept oh, it. You okay. did identify it. Yeah, he yeah. identified it, oh. which required and him when, to touch it. When you, yeah, and... when you identify it, you have to touch it. <laughs> and what happens when you touch a cursed item? <laughs> it becomes <Yeah>. you. <laughs> well, some of them are a little nicer, and they only curse you when you attune to them. However. This was not one of those. No. Well, uh, let's hope that you made it up to Zephyros then. I'm just waiting to get up there. Zephyros. <laughs> <laughs> Zephyros is, is just sitting at the edge of the tower top, dangling his legs over the edge, turns around, looks at you as you come up. I got a boo boo. What did Point you at do it. to yourself? Ah, that Ido, he's the worst. Brings home the worst cursed things. Cursed? Ugh. I think. It's a sword. He went crazy downstairs. I don't know what's wrong with him. But he slows me open and also uh, got Ezra. Yeah, let got me the take sword a... away from him, but yeah. Let nobody seems to know what's good. Oh, uh, 
Well, that's actually quite serious. Uh, left untreated, uh, it will kill you. I kind of figured it's getting worse. Uh, oh, do you... what do we do? Well, magically speaking, I don't have the spell currently memorized, but there is a purification spell uh, that will restore uh, most damaging curses and diseases. Uh, uh, the greater version of it, I think, for this. Greater purification spell. I don't know that one. Hmm. What's it do? Oh, it gets rid of uh, curses and other effects on a person. Oh, you mean like like other things like, I don't know, being petrified or something? Yeah, yeah, it can do quite a bit. The, the greater version of it, though. The lesser greater. version is not not quite so hardy, and I don't think that would work on this. I'll slap myself on the chest. I'm going to assume it's on my chest and just cast it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Greater restoration does yep. indeed remove the disease from your body. <laughs> Ah, oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Great advice. And it immediately get, begins to bleed. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kill wounds. <laughs> Cure wounds right now. <laughs> uh, uh, that's funny. Yeah, because it doesn't heal it. <laughs> it just gets rid of the yeah. disease. Yeah. I, 11 hey so i'm back up to full the worst part is is that this is just the beginning of that disease it gets way worse <laughs> well Anyways. this was gonna have to wait because i can't kiss it again not today ezra got it got it too huh yeah i mean he got hit with the sword it's not his is open and not bleeding and uh, well, he's in for a rough night and day, but uh, he'll probably survive. Uh, We'd all better hope so, anyways. Yeah, I'll let him know the good news. <clears throat> I got healed. If uh, if he doesn't survive, well, let's just say that uh, if he starts getting really bad, uh, we might want to throw him out of the tower. Uh, fair enough. I suppose if we had to, we could see if uh, if a uh, kind of void gale would bamf us over to the to long set long settle, and uh, maybe we can get some help there too. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Well, thanks. I'll pat him on the knee or whatever, and head back down. I mean, his knee is like, you know out five feet from the tower, so probably not, but... <laughs> All right. So, whatever. <laughs> He'll lean out there. Ah! <laughs> Shape. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, so I'm fine. We'll go over and take a look at Ezra. It's like, yeah, I can't, I can't do anything with that right now, but... Hmm. Well, Tomorrow, though. You'll take a look at mine and realize it's basically just a cut. Didn't get any worse. No bleeding, though. As soon as I was able to no. take care of mine, because it was getting a lot worse. Um, in fact, it would have killed me. But um, it started to bleed as soon as I got rid of this uh, curse. Well, here's the thing. But we'll need to be ready for that for you. I know. All filled up on curses at the moment. <laughs> Wait, do you oh have God. multiple curses? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh. One of which uh, was given to me directly by a god. So I have. I mean, oh, yeah. I'm totally me? baffled. No, I have. I have the ability to remove curse, but it's gonna. It's gonna be a while till I can. Um, so I can prepare that. That's it's gonna be at least yeah. a day. Me too. I'm so, all out for that. I, I've done all I can today for that. I used it for myself and also for Eidolon. 
and I'm kind of spent. To I it I can try and help you with other things, but I don't know if. No, I don't have any spells that would really do anything more than heal, which won't heal a curse. So. Well, this cursed wound will heal itself over time with me. Because from what I can uh, figure out, my curses are currently fighting each other. <laughs> Your curses are... <laughs> Whoa. So. Yeah. I should be able to heal up over time. It'll take longer to heal than most wounds, but... Do we have to, uh... Keep... <laughs> Do we have to keep, uh... A distance from you? Can you... Are you communicable? Or... I assume not so far, as we're all fine in front of you, I but... Mean, it'll be cool if this effect adds to my teeth. Next time. Your teeth? Oh, right. I'm a werewolf. We haven't told you what that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you missed some shit, man. I forget the things you've been out of the loop for. Um, well, in character, I'm definitely freaking out. I'm I'm stepping back. I'm, um, I'm definitely standing Wait. further away from you right now. It's not what you think. I didn't get bit <laughs> by a werewolf necessarily. I got cursed <laughs> by the god of werewolves. Oh my goodness! Well, How many gods have you pissed pit. off? Oh, we pissed off a lot. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bef I'm bef I'm beside myself with uh, the inability to comprehend how much has changed in such a little amount of time. It's only been like a year. Like what That's the what hell, I mean, guys? The group has to have a moral compass. I mean, it's been a real <laughs> year of like real time. It's actually been like a couple weeks. <laughs> a couple weeks in game. <laughs> it's only been a couple weeks in game. I don't know uh, the actual dates. Would months. that be funny if it was like yeah. hey, we just saw you last time. week? It's been it's been months since you've seen them. Okay, months. Okay, at least okay, at least some time has passed, and that doesn't make as. I actually don't know much of Ezra's backstory, so. We did a time warp in the caves. I, you know all my backstory. I told I all of it. Back. Yeah, did you guys forget about the time yeah. warp in the caves? And, oh well, no. Well, oh, no. no, Kai came out with you on. Oh yeah, that, I, yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah. With you. That was the last thing that he was with us on. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I was at the mithril, the mithril caves. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, but oh, all the time. rest of that travel, all the time that you spent, which was quite a bit traveling here and there and everywhere. Yeah, he he's been gone for a while. Well, and apparently you've pissed off gods. You've pissed off. Um, the Fey, and or have talked with the Fey more than what we did previously. Um, interacting with the Fey in general is just a bad idea, but you know, go ahead. Um, and now we have cursed objects in and around our persons. Um, I really gotta wonder, guys, what what happened? Like, You're are you defense. gonna be Every okay? <laughs> Everything that you just said was not my fault. <laughs> well, I mean, it was, I, it was the it was the so-called smart people's fault that did all of that. <laughs> Touching the stuff. I mean, I touching the stuff, talking to the people, opening well, shit. It's not our fault that the gods don't want you most of the time. They just don't even bring you along on our little adventures. <laughs> They're just like, see. Ya. Wait, am I am I supposed to not solve a riddle and get a cool cursed sword? <laughs> And sometimes uh, you'd say also, no. That's all I'm saying. Also, right here, which one of us currently has the weapon made out of the crime against humanity? That <laughs> <laughs> which alabaster? Uh, I mean, you yes. you have a hold of that thing. That's I mean, my <laughs> hands are clean. <laughs> you're, you're just reaping the benefits of the. You're reaping the benefits of the blood diamonds. You didn't get them, but hey, you have it. 
<laughs> door near Ezra. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ezra, get away from there right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm mostly just playing. Don't worry. <laughs> I can't remember um, the, the story that that kind of phrase is from. It seems like it was, was it Poe? I don't remember. Yeah, Poe. Um, anyway. Was, it's not the cat one, but. What Anyways. Is, uh, the crow. I think the crow. Yeah, the Edgar Allan Poe. Anyways, that's what I was thinking of when I wrote that. Anyway, or the Raven. Sorry, the Raven. the Raven, not the Crow. The Raven. Yeah. The Crow. Yeah, that that was that was Brandon Lee. <laughs> Very random word. <laughs> he did he didn't um, fare so well. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so we have no solution for you right now, Ezra, so you're just going to have to suffer, which you don't seem to mind, which is really weird. Well, Greater um, Restoration has been tried on him, just FYI. On Ezra? Or, yeah. Or for only for werewolves, not for this new curse. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It helped help with this. It, it helped revert him back in the middle of being changed, but it didn't like remove the curse totally, so... Which reminds me, when's the full moon? Or whatever triggers you. Would you like to see the calendar? I would. I'm I'm absolutely terrified of uh, Ezra. Sure Ezra has you, the, you see uh, the red chart. circles? Those are the three days. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We also have a little door to a pocket dimension in this Are tower. We... Oh, we're getting kicked out of the tower. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> And what we have to just it? go travel. Is it the yeah. The yeah. DM is taking away your easy street. <laughs> you can you can sleep outside those days. Well, I'm just gonna chain you up in Gon's tower or something. I don't know. Um that was out of character. I don't actually know any I I don't have any ideas for, for sure. uh stopping you yet. But um So it's the seventh and we have till the fourteenth that you you turn in how many days? Let's see, it's just the 7th. So 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. Wait, it's the 7th though, right? Yeah, it's the 7th right now. Of what month? Because you have the 7th of fall, yeah, winter mark. Yes. Yes. What? Alturiac. Alturiac. Yeah. Okay, so, okay. So we have one night, two nights, three nights, four nights, five nights. We have five nights before he turns. Right? So much going on. Eight, it'll be the eighth night. Because it's the seventh now. Yeah. It'll be the fourteenth. And we haven't even gotten the, to this. The night seventh yet. night I would worry though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean Okay, I get you. I get you. you don't know exactly how this works. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I have no idea. I'm still freaking out. But uh <laughs> Um I I don't do anything else. I step back. I just kind of stare at Ezra and I try to, um, like contemplate my, my, uh, my, my options. Cause I, I really don't know how safe this part, this, you know, group of people who I thought were, you know, companions, if not even friends, uh, is gone to such mm, craziness. Um, what is this? My high school library. Yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Um, at least you're not like. Uh, let's see. It's not all dead. That's a plus. You're not like full werewolf like this, are you? I mean, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine it just happens immediately all at once. and just like So, a... it's, so it's like a magical turning instead of a, a werewolf transformation? I like to think about it as like the animation team ran out of budget. <laughs> <laughs> and just one frame on Ezra and the next frame on a wolf. Nice. They, they pan away real quick and then pan back <laughs> and you're already a werewolf. Yep. Nice. Yeah, if you look if you look in his room in the tower, 
you can see his little icon, a little like werewolf icon. Yeah. Well, I mean, how long can you send yourself away? Can can you banish yourself for an? an, an yeah, for a minute. For a minute. Oh, so just get just long enough for us to close the door, maybe. We have <laughs> we have a pocket dimension that we can. But we're in kicked out. Well, can and we then, take it with us? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe we should talk to Void Gale. He might help us. We need a bag of holding and a hose. <laughs> <laughs> wonder what the semantics are on that. Like, would the hose get cut off? No. Nope. Like, it was... Shouldn't. Get is that... Is that... <laughs> off when you reach inside. But I think you can technically get out of a bag of holding with the strength check, can't you? <laughs> I don't think a bag of holding is going to hold you either. <laughs> we'll just let him die and then bring him back after the curse. No, uh, you can't really hold a body for that long, so maybe not. Also, sure that um, the curse is going to go away with death. <laughs> true. true. By God. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if it's a yeah, that sounds like a full-on major curse right there. Um, I I think I'm gonna have to have some conversations with uh, Gond. Maybe get some some help from another god and see if he can reverse what it, what it, one god has done. I mean, I'd be super happy if he did. <laughs> I uh, I'll, I might might have to do some things to make that happen. Um, do you have? Uh, is your is your uh, patron able to help you at all? Um, no, he's kind I mean, of indisposed. I know. I know I, he's, he's dead. Yeah. I, well, I know that he's dead, but what I mean is, like, is his memory able to serve you anymore, or? I assume not. Not no. Um, he's pretty dead. Damn. Um. Okay. Well, we're gonna figure this out. Uh, we kind of have to take care of that. I don't know what people were thinking. Just letting you be a werewolf. That's not. That's not normal either. Um, I mean, what we can do about it? It's been, it's been a. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a really long day. <laughs> yeah. We've been dealing with gods and things. And honestly, the werewolf thing's like the most normal thing that's happening. <laughs> that's just the most normal. <laughs> I just got cut by a curse. Someone will turn to just carry it. Hey, do you retain any of your werewolf qualities, like your ability to heal? Uh, no, nothing oh. cool from this. That sucks. Okay. Well, we might want to progress this somehow. I don't really know how, but... What the hell? Did I just hear something? Yeah, I'm Ben's screaming. playing the, uh, the werewolf transformation. Oh. It freaked me out for a second, but now I know what's going on, so... Remember that from the two wars? <laughs> Yeah, I was like, no, I know what this is. <laughs> you actually had some music playing with it, too. It's pretty cool. Oh, did I? Um, if I recall, you had some... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I can't do that on Twitch, though. <laughs> yeah, no. That, that sound lose. effect is built into Roll20, so... That was pretty good. It freaked me out at first. I thought somebody was, like, really... Like screaming about something, I was like, "Oh crap, what's going on?" They were pooping. I was like, "This is a weird sound. way to play D and D," but all right. <laughs> I mean, I've heard worse. So. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm done talking. If anybody else wants to take a <laughs> shot at this, <laughs> well, I mean, it's still morning. What are you guys gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> still the Get rid of the sword and get it out of here. Uh, maybe you should ask Zephyros yeah. if he's got some ideas on that too. Let's just put a sign on the door. <laughs> Nobody needs to watch Ido. Ignore the tapping. Do not open. <laughs> Surely people will listen to that. 
I go up to Zephyros again and ask him, Hey, uh, so this uh, sword, it uh, doesn't really want us to get rid of it, but we need to get rid of it somehow. Do you have any ideas? It cut Ezra just with him trying to... He had it wrapped up and everything, and it just cut him. Weirdly, we don't even know how it happened. Sounds like it uh, might possess uh, one of those particular enchantments that allow a weapon to become mm, sentient. Is there anything we can do to get rid of it? Can't let Eilon get back a hold of it again. We don't even know if I was able to sever the connection with them or, or what. I tried, but he's unconscious right now. Such weapons are often extremely difficult to get rid of. <clears throat> um. I read a story about a cursed weapon that could read and dominate the mind of its owner. The owner, out of desperation, uh, threw himself into a volcano, uh, an active volcano. And uh, the next week, the weapon was found stuck into the earth just outside of a nearby village. Seems a bit extreme to go for a volcano, but all right. Well, you try having your mind dominated by a bloodthirsty weapon and see what you might do to stop it. Is there a way we could send it away? I'm going to say... I don't know. I don't know what the weapon is capable of, so I could not tell you. We just the only one that knows that. Later, we lit off fire. Unconscious. What's that? We just mail it back to that manor with no fire. And idle on your hour is likely up by now. Okay. So idle on will his tremors and whimpers and whatnot will quiet. And uh, make a constitution saving throw for me, idle on. Pew. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, all right, you wake up with two points of exhaustion. Uh, that hurts, Charlie. <laughs> Are you just going back to sleep then? <laughs> I was only going to give you one if you fail, but, you know, crit fail. What, so. is, what does two do? Oh, my speed is halved. Awesome. Feeling kind of slow. How you doing there, buddy? Uh, I just kind of sit up, you know, leaning against the wall. Just kind of staring out. Then instantly, like, look down at my chest. And, like, pat it down, you know, to see if I'm okay. What happened there? What's going on? You just flew off the handle, screaming, yelling, and then you slashed at me and... Caught, well, I guess Ezra got hurt too, but... What's going on? Ah. Uh, I... And, like, a few tears will just start running down his face. I'm sorry. I didn't... I... I didn't mean to hurt any of you, anyone. Well, I'm sorry. You did that. It's a cursed item, obviously. If we had to, it does some serious damage. Do that. How do you feel right now? I'm. I. I don't know. I when I. When I fell in battle, 
I I saw something. I had a, a, a vision. And it just it brought back a lot of memories and a lot of fears and I don't know. It's really all jarring and confusing right now. Tr still trying to make sense of it all, but I don't really know what that was. It seemed familiar, but also didn't. I don't know. I don't know. And he'll kind of just like thousand yard stare again, just like thinking about past events and shaking a little bit, you know, not Excessive. Hey, hey, stay with me here. I need to know more about this thing. What is this sword? The, the what? The sword? sword. Oh. The grave of the sword. I th that's right, right, right. The sword. Um. Uh, it hey, what was were just you talking about. That wasn't what you were just talking about. Wasn't about the sword. Just when he died. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I, I have to think on that more. But 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 that sword, it, it, I think I'm pretty sure it's cursed. <laughs> but it happened when I was trying to identify it. Where where, where is it, by the way? We got it pushed away. Safely contained to... under a blanket. <laughs> Let me see it real quick. Do not get close. Uh, to it. You're not allowed to get close to it. Right, him keep him in a full Nelson, <laughs> and we'll let him. Let, see. let him keep. Let let him keep a hold of you. All right. You went full on nuts there for a while. I will eldritch blast you into the graph. And it sounds like this thing has a mind of its own. I, I, I know, I know, but I, I'm the only one that can deal with this curse, so... Just, just let, 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 let me see and make sure it's okay. It's fine. I think you're alright. It's fine. How about we not touch it? Okay. Okay, well, just just make sure no one else touches it. Nobody wants to. Yeah. But I still want it. Get it away from us yet. Just I don't want anyone else touching it or taking it. Um. Oh. I'm still too far away from you to hear you, so I won't be able to respond to that. There. You could say you walked up. Yeah, I walked up. Um, the first part makes sense. You don't want anybody to touch it. But that second part, what is, uh, what is the issue with having somebody else um, having it? What, uh, what will that do? Well, then... Then there's the possibility you'll be cursed. No, right so now, it's fear it out of me. safety. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I was just curious. I didn't. I wasn't sure if you were possessive of it or if you were possessed you know by it or you know anything. Could be anything. Not not trying to make any judgments. You know, it's a cursed sword. So nineteen. On insight. Hmm. Oh yeah, either perception or deception. Uh, I'll same. try. Uh, what is it? Investigation? No, it's uh, insight. Right? Insight. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I got a nineteen, insight. but I want to know hey, if I believe. You. I don't. <laughs> I didn't catch nothing. Yeah. I was going to say, roll, roll a d20 and manually add the number so they can't tell which yeah, one yeah, is. Yeah. Or just yeah. roll yeah, straight but to me. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I, I see all. Even, 
Even Kai could... sees them with a ten. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, but like I was, I was barely noticing anything. So, so I'd say then you see a little like shift in the eyes, you know, little shifty eyes when you said okay. that. You're not telling the truth. I go are ahead you, and cast. Are you saying uh, that? Are you sending that in game or out of game? No, I'm asking you. I mean, with a 19, I should be able to tell. I think. <laughs> and what do you think? I think that what you would probably see is that um, Eidolon is he. He truly believes that he will be okay. But he, his uh, feelings seem on the fanatical side. Okay. So as in, like, somebody trying to take or touch the sword. Cause, he said cause that he's he was... Convinced. Con he's convinced of what the sword is. He, he's convinced that he'll be fine. Okay, but how about other people getting the sword, taking the sword? Not just touching, but taking the sword. Um, right now, I would say that uh, even with a 19 versus his, uh, there's not going to be enough information for you to tell. And I do have my reasons for saying that. He is He is extremely hard to read right now. So the modifier that I would give him is well above his own. It's and been a long day, guys. There's a, there's a circumstance that is involved that I can't tell you about. So. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. No one's going to want to touch it. But we certainly don't want you to touch it either. It's best we I'm, just, I'm, I'm just glad, glad you guys aren't to, to her, I'm sorry again that I attacked at you guys. I wasn't in my right mind. I was seeing things. Uh, I don't know. I can't. Ex it's hard to explain. I know this is only like number three on the list of reasons why it grudges against you. Against me? Sorry, what was that last part? Oh, this is only number like three on the reasons why I have to grudge against you. <laughs> You've done well, way worse things. Yeah. Sorry. It's all good. <laughs> I was laughing because you typed out tap 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 but that's also what we were hearing with the keyboard oh yeah <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know if that's what you were trying to say like no nope. uh, audibly audibly tap plus like tap on <laughs> okay um how did it get past my blanket it is a sword <laughs> are you i was hoping to be like a parakeet and I just go to sleep <laughs> it's, it, well, it's a magical, or I don't know, demon, no, demonic, uh, whatever, whatever, cursed sword. So it probably doesn't need sleep. In fact, I'm not even sure how you got it in the bag in the first place. But and also, why is it acting out now? Not like before, like. What changed, Ido? Is it because you died? Well, I, I didn't mean to grab the sword. I was just frantically looking for something to fight with. So the sword I, wasn't I, the first I... thing you grabbed towards? Hmm. So you say you were you needed something to fight off with. What were you seeing? Like you weren't even looking at us until you attacked. What was going on? I, it's, it's, like I said, it's hard to explain. It was just like shadowy figures. It, it's, all, it's all really uh, blurry in my mind, but 
You kept saying, don't do you, do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that tapping, though, right? What is that? It sounds familiar. If you guys would just bring me the sword, I think everything would be okay. I think you need a break. Look, I've, I've, okay, we'll take a break for you guys. But, I don't know, I think I need to just get my head right. Do you think I could just be alone for a little bit? Where'd you guys uh put the sword, by the way? Before I go to bed, <laughs> it's it's outside. <laughs> it is. <it's... laughs> uh, it's it's in a room away from this room, but if you want to get some sleep, we can leave you in here. Um, do you have? Do you need anything? Do you need any water or food or anything? That. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, Sky. Yeah, I'll get and some we, stuff. And, and, and which, room, which room did you say you put it in, by the way? We put it in the extra dash bowl. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, now I can sleep easier knowing where it's at. Don't you need to roll a deception or something? <laughs> I mean, you're good. You want to challenge it with your insight? Well, you deceived him, according to that. So I, I'll bring you some food. Uh, I don't know what you would want, but I just bring everything from the table, pretty much. Everything that I can carry in, in, in my hands, is, uh, including a, a glass of, uh, or a, a water and a, and a, like a, a glass of water and a pitcher of water for you kind of letting you uh, bring everything into the room, but then like, I leave the room and I don't know is is Ulver and Riken going to come out of the room before I close the door? I'm deciding. Just leave him like a okay. literature pamphlet on Gone. <laughs> <laughs> I slip it under the tray. <laughs> Uh, have you have you heard of our Lord and Savior God? <laughs> he is the one true God. <laughs> oh, oh man! Um, I think we could use some spiritual help. But I don't know. God is good. God is great. <laughs> I love that God doesn't even acknowledge that he's the only God that you do. <laughs> no, <Yeah>. exactly. It's <laughs> hilarious. Um, well, there are there are some uh, some devout followers of Gond who would probably believe that. The problem is, I've met the other gods uh, too. So, um, question: Have you ever met Gond before? I mean, um, seen him before? I have really that real? Are you sure? Him. Are I've you seen sure him. I just haven't. <laughs> I haven't uh, physically been know? in his presence, obviously, but... Uh, he doesn't know who you uh, are. Oh, I get it. All right. Well, apparently he's not even <laughs> like greater deity. He is intermediate. Uh, um, yeah. So, uh, as, as part of my... Uh, my attempt at uh, not stirring the pot, I uh, don't engage with the, uh, the the questioning of my god uh, for the time being. Um, but I do go back to my uh, my room after dropping off the food for Ido, and I, I, I say to Ido, hey, um, I really hope that uh, you feel better soon and that um, we can work on these um, uh, issues that have been left unresolved, and uh, I proceed to leave the room at that point. Thank you, Kai. You're very kind. I'll just start like ginger, gingerly eating, drinking.
How to make you guys yeah. discard everything <laughs> in your inventory? <laughs> I'm just looking. Okay, so you got the you got the blood sword, you got the death note, you got the werewolf. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. I actually don't know. I'm gonna have to go through your guys' inventories and well, what see is in, if I'm missing anything. <laughs> what's in Riken's? Riken, you have that. What is a sword or spear? Oh. Starfall? It's not cursed. Yeah. He, well, no, but it's... It's wonky. Just, <laughs> it'll destroy worlds, you know. Not, not worlds, but it'll destroy things. It's, yeah, I it's... Can... it's it, What it is is too powerful for it for its own good, kind of. But, anyway. It's Essentially, a war, uh, like a reality warping weapon kind of thing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Well, the thing uh, is I mean, more powerful than the original Starfall. Apparently. Oh shit. <laughs> well they attach the pow the the branch of power. Basically the, oh, right. the branch got split into two pieces. The anchor, which which is like the anchor for chaos, and mm -hmm. then all of the power that the anchor has is in the power branch which is attached to Starfall. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a this that sounds like, like a disaster waiting to happen, but epic legendary item right here. So you can do some pretty wacky stuff, but um anyways. I mean he, I, I don't think Riken was gonna pull it out and stab Eidolon. You never know though. <laughs> One of those major epic battles where both of the weapons are hitting each other and just a immense amount of energy is surging. Yeah. Ido's going to compel the possession out of... Or, sorry, Riken's going to compel the possession out of Ido um, with, a, with a, a spear through the stomach. The simple fact of the matter is you don't know what Starfall is capable of. It's a brand, well, and I've never brand seen them, new artifact weapon. I've so. never seen him pull it out either, so I, I don't know what it looks like. It's, I don't... I, I, I probably wouldn't even notice it unless uh, he brought it out. I thought he used it in the battle out there. Yeah, like in Rome. And it's not little, so you'd probably it's, see it. Yeah, and it the shaft glows bright white, so... Oh, okay. Well, then yes, I, I would have seen it. I don't know what it is still, because I haven't had a chance to ask him, but... Yeah. Um, is it reckon is it like easily recognizable? You said it's new, so I wouldn't know anything about it. No, but... it's, it wouldn't it wouldn't be like anything you'd ever heard of before. Gotcha. It's a spear. Yeah, I'm not much of a spear wielder myself, but that's pretty cool. I'm glad he didn't use it on Ido though. <laughs> that would have sucked. And see Ido explode. A Riken yeah. exploded. Or yeah. Riken explode. Trying to, yeah. trying to wrestle control of it the first time. <laughs> he exploded. Oh, jeez. The party then essentially turned back time through uh, going through the the Void Realms and turned oh, okay. back time just enough for him to attempt to wrestle control of it again and succeed this time. So. Yeah, a, really you can watch role. those episodes if you want to catch up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I don't have to work tomorrow, so staying up past 10 isn't going to kill me. I think we should go ahead and end here, though, and you guys can think about what you want to do next week. Um, you're going to have to uh, abandon the tower and, you know, figure out how to, I don't know, ride horses again for more than a few miles. On a horse. Wait, at least we got the bubble. I need to depopulate the curses in this place. Jeez. Unfortunately, many of the ones they, they picked up <laughs> are, are, people. Not, are not that easy to get rid of. Not at all. No, that sounds very uh, difficult. <laughs>